All right, Spider-Man dropping down. <laughs> Get into the caves. Let's rock and roll. Feeling murderous. I spend all this time preaching not to piss off the shopkeepers. We're pissing off the shopkeepers today. Chances of getting to the cosmic ocean, about 20%. Um, this is November 2024, kind of winding down this little series of Spelunky videos. Hopefully if you come across this and you're new to the game, it helps you. Helps you make some moves, but it's going to be a wrap here s shortly. I really want to get this cat. We're not worried about money. We are worried about health. Oh, this cat's gonna take one into the in the mouth. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're pissing off shopkeepers. We're not worried about money. And let's just hope he survives down there. Let's get our key and our. Murderous Rampage is about to commence. Now, technically, I can still get forgiveness. If we go three levels without agitating, killing, <laughs> or pissing off a shopkeeper, we can uh, get forgiveness. Ah. But... Here, buddy. Go right there. But we're not worried about that. Let's drop our gun down. Take the cat down for health, which we just lost to that snake. So this is meaningless. Not worried about money, but... Picking up little bits here and there. We still need money for the challenges and uh, for Madam Tusk's uh, casino game. There we go, brother. I had to think about that for a second. We're going to have to... Nope, I was going to say we have to use r ropes, but we won't. Alright, there's our... There's our buddy, so if there's an altar, we can we have ropes, we can come back up and get her. Let's kill Turkey Man. See if he has anything good for us in his uh, prison or whatever down here. A crate. Look out. We got more ropes. Um Okay. Again, that's it's nonsense if you if you legit get his key by bringing him all of his turkeys. Um, he'll still get pissed that you opened up one of the you opened up his treasure chest inside his challenge or inside his jail cell. Jail cell. <laughs> inside his jail cell and there was a big bomb and he's like, "What are you doing?" Like I didn't do anything, man. All right, we don't have to kill every shopkeeper. It's fun. But sometimes it's better to let them live and to get out of a level. All right, we have to worry about that spider. We'll move, make a quick move to the left outside this door. Don't jump when we go out because that lizard's gonna be right there. Let's wait for him to turn around. Wait him for wait for him to turn around. Let's get this these jewels. All right, brother. Again, don't have to kill him.
Don't need that idol. Ooh, what we got down here? A we got a bombs. We need. We want those bombs. Um. But if we agitate, as soon as we agitate him, he's gonna start shooting his gun like an idiot, and he's gonna explode the bombs. So let's be smart about this, monkey. You're just. We gotta get you out of the equation. Let's see where he's at. Nah, it's gonna bomb his place. All right, he's jumping around being wild. Is he out of his shop at least? What was that? I guess he broke open that, the coffin. He might be dying over there. I just heard a bunch of... I just heard... I just heard him... I heard a shopkeeper. Yep, he's dead over there. We don't have shoes. So we can't walk on those... Spikes. Get that monkey. Thank you. But we're looking for... An altar. We have an altar. 8 plus 6 is 14. If uh, The sacrifice of the cat... Our, our live hired hand and these cavemen. No, God in heaven. And we're going to get a Kapala here. We have plenty of ropes. Kapala is a big part of the run. This shopkeeper that was guarding the exit, he went ape shit. When we kill, when when his buddy went ape shit, so he's dead. We can't get this gold because we don't have shoes. Whatever. Not worried about gold. We do. We're going to the cosmic ocean, so we need this. We need our bow. And I don't want to drop my gun. Let's let's trigger this bat. And now we can be a little smoother with this. But yeah, having the Kapala is nice. We got paste? That's good. I mean, you usually get paste anyway. Somewhere in the jungle. But there's times you don't get it. I'm looking for crates, not worried about money. There's, there's some crate action here. There's really no way to do that other than bombing it. Yeah. We'll take that. We're doing good on bombs, and we want bombs because we're going to be... Um, we're going to be... Uh, you know, we're going to have the bow the next couple levels. We're not going to be able to carry the shotgun, so we need a, a good means of destroying shopkeepers' lives. And the bombs, especially sticky bombs, we can rain them down on them at the exits and have them stick to them. Still wish I had shoes of, any, of some kind. But I think... The shotgun has met its end. We're done with the shotgun. <sighs> so when you're dealing with these shop shopkeepers, we're looking for a way for him to die. Basically, if we can get him to jump up where that caveman is, he's gonna keep. He's gonna be a moron and just keep on jumping, and he's gonna die from all the headshots he takes from the those those bramble strips. Trying to get him. Let's try to get him. That's not gonna work. Let's do this. I mean, we have bombs. This is what we need bombs for. Let's see if this gets him in, up there. We need him to jump into that little corridor. 
And he's not doing it because I'm 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 high up compared to where he's at. There he goes. We got some blood. Whatever I was doing worked. Let's keep it going. We got two minutes. <laughs> Come on, brother. Come on. No, nope, it's, uh, it's not going to happen. We got him. I don't want to rely too much on bombing. We don't want to spend a lot of bombs. But we're good. Let's keep it going. This isn't the black market level. Oh, yeah, by the way, we have to go into the black market. Which is just going to be a WrestleMania main event. Let's get this uh, witch doctor on a good cycle and get around him. Let's kill our piranha plant. Man-eating plant, apparently. Not a piranha plant. You see that trap? Damn it. Well, it's not like we used it up. Let's bomb. This witch doctor's cramping my style. I need to I need to rope here. What I want. Yeah, this witch doctor sucks. See, that's gonna that 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 tiki man's gonna eat that. Where are we at here? Oh shit! Here we go. You gotta die, brother. It's just just a matter of fact. All right, I want to get to this. Trap. I don't know if that trap set or not over there. I gotta, I gotta, yep, I got him. Just as I spent that rope. No black market this level. Black market. We got the black market this level. Where is this at? I think it's right down here. Yep. All right, now. We have I think seven or eight shopkeepers down here in the black market. They're not pissed off yet. They're not, they're patrolling their, they're patrolling the, the grounds, but they're not coming for us yet. Now say this black market was at the uh, bottom of the level and we had to kill a shopkeeper in order to get in, in here, then yeah, they would be pissed. They'd be patrolling. So I'm trying to sneak here and get these spike shoes. These spike shoes are very important for what we're about to do. So I'm going to throw a rope up. And you can see they only have one avenue to come up here when they're pissed off. And we're just going to stomp them to death. Here they come. And we just wear them down. There's going to be... I really should know. I don't really do this that much. Like, go on these murder murder runs. Um, so I'm not, I'm not sh sure of the exact number of shopkeepers in the black market. But I do know once this first wave kind of goes through, there's going to be one or two over here to the right. There's going to be one or two jumping up top. 
Only one. And then we just gotta... We gotta sit here and wait for them to... Come on, brother. He picked some... He picked up some random gun I wasn't expecting. And we'll pick up our, uh... Head jet. And there shouldn't be another one flying through here. Alright, what we don't want is them to blow up any bombs. I heard a shopkeeper die. And there's probably another one. Oh, we need that jetpack. Brother. Um, hmm. We do not want him to go to that bottom level. Where's he at right now? Okay. What did he blow up? I wasn't even paying attention. Were there bombs down here that he blew up? This is the most important thing, though. Yeah, I wish we... Uh, I wish we could have kept those bombs down there. If, or maybe there was a power... Po I think there was... I think there were bombs. Anyway. He didn't blow up our jetpack. Um... This stupid bat. There you go, brother. Alright, let's get out of here. Um, this sucks. Now, there's gonna be a shopkeeper here. Let's be careful. Or did he already die? No, he's alive. Um... We only got a minute. And this black market was at the top of the level. Alright, hired this hired hand's just, just nothing but trouble right now, man. Just die, thank you. Good lord. Um Okay, perfect. But we have to Yeah We have to bomb. And we don't want to get boomeranged here. Perfect. One more shot. We got it. Let's get out of here. All right, we're gonna have to do. We're gonna do this boss fight. We have to save our bombs. And then hopefully we get. Hopefully we get bombs somewhere. Drag him around the top of the level. See if there's any crates. Nothing doing. Let's do this boss fight. First phase is very easy. Second phase, without spring shoes, we have to... We have to we have to pop up with our jetpack a little bit to reach him. So this gets gets a little tricky, but you just you can't miss. Like basically, yeah, don't miss. All right, one more little Alright, and then this final phase is where he shoots out his UFOs. And... This should be pretty easy. Yikes, what's he doing here? That's gonna blow up that UFO. Get down here. One more. And we made it. Unless a UFO up top hits that other one with a laser. We're gonna wait, head in. That is a successful boss fight. And you can see something I rarely do is have the head jet <coughs> that we picked up. You can see how bright everything is back here. 
It's basically specs on steroids. Let's get our onk. We have a parachute. Let's leave. We have five bombs. We gotta rely on... Let's just hope for some shopkeeper de deaths at the, at the exit of the levels. With, uh, you know, those gold spike traps that shoot out their spikes to the side and stuff. Now, also, because we shot up a lot of shopkeepers, there's going to be a shopkeeper outpost this level, possibly. Where right in the middle of the main... The main path down the level, shopkeepers are going to have an outpost set up with like two or three of them patrolling. And there they are right there. Oh my goodness. Now... This is bad. Because they're going to jump up. Uh, they're going to jump up here. I don't think they can. I don't think they're going to be able to jump up here. Um, but they're going to shoot that ghost pot. The game enjoys putting that ghost pot. Alright, our buddy's helping us out a little bit. Alright. Two of them got whittled down. We got, we got bon three of them got whittled down. We got bombs in here, and now we're just gonna have to survive. Don't shoot that ghost pot, you moron. Hopefully that spike trap thing kills him down there. I will say I like him over by the hired hand. For now. Oh, we're getting, we're, we're loading up with everything we need here. Let's do this real quick, because we might have to poop around with the shopkeeper a little bit. And now we can grab a gun. Where's he at? Got him. So that's... That's the end of the shopkeepers. Let's break out a hired hand in case next level has an altar. Things are looking good right now. We have another outpost here. Okay. I don't see a ghost pot though, so let's let them kind of sh Oh, there is one down there. Damn it. And this is the level with the... Uh, um, the bow challenge. So we got to figure something out here. All right, here's what we got to do. We can't have this hired hand pissing him, going over and pissing them off when we're trying to do our own thing. So hired hand has to go. Oh, you friggin' ninjas. Um... We're gonna take the long way around. We got we gotta get to our clone gun challenge. Did I say it was a bow challenge earlier? No. This is the clone gun challenge. We're gonna take the long way to get there though. These friggin' ninjas. Man. They're awful it's just awful stuff when you're trying to deal with other things. No. All right, die, idiot. Come down here, shopkeeper. Yep, he, yep. Okay, so no uh, clone gun this run. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get away from him now and we're bombing down here to avoid his him getting pissed let's not deal let's not deal with two shopkeepers this level we're only gonna deal with one and pretty much not deal with any because he's gonna jump into the lava there's lava at the bottom of this level so ideally you want a black market You want the black market early 
because we had it on what two four I think, and then those outposts usually just pop up on the in the next level after you do after you have like a mass. There's not gonna be outposts every level basically, but when you have a mass genocide, the next level is when that'll show up. Oh come on with these! Just I'm just getting death by a thousand cuts right now. I need to go get our our pet. I really need this health. I'm just getting whittled down. I mean, uh, tide pool's usually the trickiest because it's like it's kind of tight. Even though there's a good chance that that I don't know. Um, but no, there's a good chance that they die like that. You see, these exits are so treacherous in Tide Pool that there's usually something that's killing the shopkeeper for us. But damn it, we didn't get our clone gun. Not a huge deal. There's our buddy. Oh, there's an altar right here, but that's. We gotta do this, and we gotta do this. We gotta be smart about this and not trigger this UFO. And destroy, there you go, perfect. Basically, if you're under that UFO and it shoots a laser at you and it hits the altar, it's your fault. And she gets all jammed, she gets pissed. So we really need that, that health is very good. We got ropes, we got we got spike shoes. Um These these yeti are only one point of uh you know favor with the sacrificing. Uh and I've lost track of to how, where, what, and what we've sacrificed. That's so close to triggering that landmine. But we're done. But I was, I'm doing a taking stock of what we got. Um, spike shoes, compass, ropes. We do not have to go into the Yeti cave. We don't have to drop off a uh, clone gun. There is going to be a shopkeeper at the bottom of this level at the door, but he's going to jump into the into the abyss. There he goes. He's gone. Now comes the fun part. We got to get through Neo Babs and Sunken Cities with a pissed off shopkeeper at the exit. Here we go. Let's just pretend We don't have a shopkeeper waiting for us at the end. Let's just pretend we're going through this level like normal. Picked up a lot of bombs in the Madam Tusk Casino game. All right, everybody relax. I don't like this. We gotta bomb something here. I don't have climbing gloves. I just realized. All right. Hmm. Let's just bomb right here. Now, good chance the shopkeeper dies to spark balls. Look at him. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Where'd he go? All right, he's stuck in that little crevice. Let's at least get this... Uh, we gotta time this and at least get that gun out of there. But... This is tricky business. 
should just bomb this. If I, if I say that out loud, then I'm just going to do it because... Get in there. All right. So you can see there's supposed to be a dark level that trips us up, but that head jet really helps. Boy, this... Nothing's good over there. Let's go up top. Hopefully the ghost... I know this is, this, is this is the level with the uh, all the statues in that room. And the ghost pot's always in that room. Alright, we squished that guy. He's not going to be a projectile. And we should be safe right here for now. Um, I guess we're going to go down to that skeleton and bomb there and then... Make a decision after this. We should bomb this spark ball. Just so we don't have to think about it and there's our buddy that's uh, we're just gonna we just sit here and watch him die there you go we have time I don't like not having climbing gloves though man can't believe I can't believe we weren't able to get those anywhere One or two more hits, I think. Get him. Got him. All right, now we can go to Madam Tusk's uh, shop of love and where's this spark ball at? It's right there. Let's get that taken care of. Get out of here. No climbing gloves. I gotta remember that. I keep on talking about it. All right, we can't we can't stomp this UFO onto the Madam Tusk shop. I think he can. Let's just do it. Let's just do that. Let's go in and get some health. There might be a crate in here. There is not. Health, we're good. Uh, 26 health, we're good. If the, if the pet was nearby, we'd look into bringing them, bringing the, the pet in for some health to the altar, but no. All right, that's... Oh, boy. We're bombing those. And let's hope... There's another shopkeeper death down here. Where can I camp out. I can camp out right in here. Oh, we need that we need that bottom one to be activated a little bit. Um we're gonna bomb this. There we go. He can't come up here. This is gonna be a much. We're gonna have to. We're gonna. We're gonna throw a bomb down on him. Let's see if we can time this pretty well. Oh, got him. All right, we're down to eight bombs. Well, it's actually not bad. We're gonna we're gonna drop a bomb here. I'm surprised she didn't wake up and start shooting her red enemies or whatever at us. Um. All right.
Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying it out loud because I have to keep reminding myself. No climbing gloves yet. We need those puppies. It's pretty much climbing gloves and spike shoes are necessities in the cosmic ocean. I'm sorry. Jetpack isn't a necessity. I mean, you can uh, spring shoes and uh, in a uh, spring shoes and climbing gloves. is not bad with a cape in the cosmic ocean but all right we don't have to worry about um the clone gun here it's actually just this is basically a reverse of the jungle we're gonna go up the level with the gun and see if we can clear the road of the shopkeeper. He's up there. And we're looking we're looking for ways for him to die. Those spikes. Those spikes are nice. But he's already jumped down here. Damn it. This isn't good. I'm gonna have to time a, I'm gonna have to time a stomp on him. And it's actually worth... We got him. I was going to say, it was actually worth taking off my jetpack so he didn't explode it. So, he's taken care of. Let's go get our... Uh... Hang on, that's... That's already triggered. Um, we got to go get our... Bow and arrow here. We have time. We have plenty of time. A necromancer gonna wake her up. This is the worst when a necromancer spawns. There he is. Here she comes. She's gonna wake up here in a second. I don't know exactly what goes into how the necromancer wakes the enemies up. But he just spawned down there. He's on the other. Look at all them down there though. But she didn't wake up. That's fine. No clone gun. Let's grab our stuff we have an altar down here but if we had a clover and we had five minutes then yeah I guess it was a very specific design choice by them to not give us a clover on this final challenge I hate it but I enjoy the sense of urgency no I don't enjoy it <laughs> All right, we have two more. We have two more shopkeepers to deal with at the end of the levels, and then we're into the cosmic ocean. But that's that's a lot to deal with. Let's get away from these guys. Let's go up to the level. Let's get up to the exit as soon as possible, and then start assessing the situation. Um, yeah, those guys are gonna wake up, and I just gotta, I just gotta sit here. I can probably bomb. I'm gonna bomb right there. Should have bombed for that crate down there. All right, this is not. This is not a good setup here. He's gonna shoot through the, the through this this bubble wrap, and we're kind of we're kind of we're kind of penned in here. We have nowhere to go. But this is a one-hit kill. Our this 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 arrow we have, or 
we do this. There we go. That works too. All right, we got one more shopkeeper to deal with. Just really wish we had climbing gloves. All right, there's a tongue. That's why I always look up. Look out, tongue. Nice try. Here's my level layout I hate. Oh, I hate it. There's an arrow trap up there we have to trigger. Let's trigger it now before we panic during a shopkeeper battle or something and forget to do it. I'm trying to put my bow down to kill those maggots. Yeah. Yeah. All right, fella. Let's be careful about that arrow trap on the left. This is pretty good. This is going to be tough for him to get up here now. What I want to do more than anything is get his gun out of the equation. Although we could have used it to shoot him. But that takes, that takes a lot of his... Alright, man. There's not going to be a... We got to go, though. There's not going to be a uh, shopkeeper this level. So we made it. Yeah. <laughs> these things are... These frogs. Uh. All right. Looks like this. All right. There's an air trap over here to the right. Let's sneak over here to the left. Any arrow traps over here? Nope. Let's see if we can get our climbing gloves. Nope. All right, we don't have unlimited, we don't have 99 bombs. We gotta get this frog out of here. We don't have 99 bombs, but that's, we can rain three bombs down on them. We're going to go, hey, my Dale 799, I actually can't remember how many bombs we had going into the Cosmic Ocean, but we didn't, uh, we didn't have the clone gun that run. So we didn't have 99 bombs and ropes in the 799 run. All right, here we go. We could just sit here and wait. If we didn't have any bombs, we could sit here and wait for that poison to kill that the left head. I'm being... Yeah, that's one. I'm just eyeing it up. Like, there's no real... I'll probably still miss it sometimes, too. There we go. So he was poisoned, so we're down to only, only having to use two bombs there, which was nice. And one more... One more fireball let's go into the cosmic ocean we go on a pissed off shopkeeper run there is a crate down here everybody just hang on oh no <laughs> damn it <laughs> got too close and it took me in all right here we go no climbing gloves sucks it's gonna change our strat it's just gonna change our movements Let's not freak out. Let's get some blood. We popped one orb. Exit on the right. Poison arrow traps at this, this level. I think I just heard a uh, orb very faintly. No, I'm talking out of my butt.
No, well, maybe this is the one I heard. Look out. So that's two. Not seeing the third one yet. It's got to be like right below the exit. It's not below the exit at all. Where would this be? We've been through here. This is where we started. It's got to be over here to the left-ish. And this is tricky. I don't want to use up bombs. But sometimes it's necessary. I'm on a good... I'm on a good maggot streak. I think I've, we've busted three maggot sacks without taking damage in a row. All right, let's not, let's not, let's not go too fast through here, because this is feels like uncharted territory. All right. All right, this is where I miss my climbing gloves, brother. These maggots are ruining my day, man. <laughs> oh, come on. We need... We just gotta time these. Oh, man. There you go. Where did they even come from? Uh, that's just like that's just locked in there. that's just hidden in there we're just bombing that get out of here with that ninjas and spikes man I don't even know where that one ninja flew to well, this is where we came in. There's two. There's three. Let's find our exit and get out of here. Feels feels like it's a top left kind of day for this exit. Ish. I don't like those spikes. I don't mind the spikes, it's just having ninjas around those spikes is the problem. But yeah, top left ish exit. Man, enemies just all in the loop this run so far. I don't even hear it. There it is. All right, let's let's bait him over here, and then down we go. Let's get a let's get a body to protect us from arrow traps as soon as possible. Moles, are, moles can be tricky because they'll try to jump in there as soon as they wake up. Now we got a mole in the loop. <laughs> what is this? Wake up, idiot. Oh, that's right. So he he ran. And then he's still going to be in the loop. This is funny. And he's still in the loop. Okay, good. <laughs> Alright, here's our exit. Let's trigger this bat. Let's kill this lizard. Two and three. Let's take care of this one first. And then that one. There's the three amigos here ready to kill us. Not 
knocked out two of them. Feels like a wide open, smallish level. I'm, I'm roping that because I was going to jump. Look at my... I, I could have jumped onto that next... I basically I didn't want to bop off of the bottom of that and go flying somewhere. Let's not forget we do not have a bodyguard right now. Just like that mole went flying. There we go. Well, one of those moles triggered an arrow. This is why you carry this guy, because that could have easily hit us. Uh, that spider's not a problem. Spider is not a problem at all. All right, some easy levels so far. I'll say, look out, man. Which orb was this? We're gonna. Let's, I mean, we gotta be a little bit s smarter with bombs and everything. If I had 99 bombs, I would have bombed this. But we're gonna do that instead. We still need a third orb, which is right there and exit bottom left. <laughs> All right, Neobab. That was... Uh, I didn't really talk about it. I was just gassed in that da in Dale 799 run. But those late Leo... Those late Neobab levels where I was taking off my jetpack and making all these like ridiculous moves... Oh. I do not know what I would have done if I would have lost the um, 799 to that. I'm starting to notice they love putting those laser traps at the end, at the top ends of these levels. All right, so that laser trap's gonna keep shooting because of this parachute. That's something to remember, I guess. Just need climbing gloves. Don't need them, but you know what I mean. All right, those lasers. Man. Yep, and there's one right at the exit that I have to trigger. I have to trigger with a rope. Okay, nope, wait a minute. Well, Jesus, apparently all, all the bubbles got popped somewhere. All right, hang on. UFO, let's just hang tight. <laughs> Yeti's going flying. Wait. Wait 15 seconds. Anytime you start an ice cave level in the Cosmic Ocean, just hang, just just relax. Find cover. If you don't have anything above you, your first move should be to go find something to hide under. All right, while we're here, surf the bottom of the level. There's one right there. They love, they love putting those orbs down at the bottom of the level with the spikes. All right, here's orbs two and three. Let's, uh, I don't like this one at all. The final orb is over on the left side of the level. We need an exit. 
exit. Here's our entry. Here's, here's where we came in. Um. Feels like it's gonna be like smack dab middle of the level here. Or maybe, maybe along the far right. I don't think I've. Nope, let's get out of here. All these trampoline launch pads or whatever they are. Okay, we got a Yeti in the loop, brother. Nope, we've been here. We have a minute to find it. Let's just, everybody calm down. <laughs> uh, let's go bottom. Let's go this way. We saw this. Yep. I was going to say. Oh. Climbing gloves. Um, yeah, I remember seeing this orb and then we were like, all right, let's go somewhere else. Don't hit this landing pad. Launching pad, whatever. All right. Mm, sounds like an orb got popped these laser I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to really hate these laser traps that shoot lasers out really growing a distaste for them let's just rope that and get out of get out of here all right here's number three I want this UFO to peek over here a little bit more so I can stomp on it. Look at me. I'm an idiot. I'm over here dancing. Nope. He doesn't like it. Hey, look at me. There you go. All right. Let's be careful. Exit top right. Final orb is Oh, I almost I'm going to die cuz I don't have climbing gloves. I'm so so used to having them that I tried grabbing the wall there when I jumped above those laser balls, spark balls, whatever. What are you doing? And then, where are we going? Top right? And we have to use a rope here. Wasn't there an elevator dicking around here or something? I don't like any of this. Okay. Alright, a bubble got... Orb got popped. Orange frog exploded. Let's leave our cocoon. Skeletons dropping their nonsense from the bottom of the level. All right, we're going to have to go into the lion's den here, it looks like. One orb has been popped. There's two. That was something else. Those those Neobab levels at the end of the Dale's Run. There was one that I thought... I popped an orb thinking it was the first one. But apparently it was the third one. Um, so here's our, here's our escape plan after popping this orb over here. Um, right. I don't like this. I don't like this. Error try. It's been triggered. Never mind. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Um, but yeah, those Neobab levels. Like, I thought I was triggered. I thought I was triggering the very first orb, and then it was like, nope, number three. One of those levels was like that. It was terrifying. 
Yeah, that was number three, huh? All right. Yeah, when you start a temple level, kind of the same thing as as uh, the ice caves, but you want to make sure there's no poison hitting the top of the level from somewhere. We got one there. There's a second one, smack down middle of the level. No crush traps that I can see. That's a bomb to get this. And we can crawl through that sand. Here's our exit. Crush trap at the exit. Let's bring it over here. Give us a little more room to get in there. And here's orb number three. So we have everything set up for us, but we got this stupid lady that, you know, without 99 bombs, it gets tricky. Yeah, I don't care. I'll take I'll take a hell I'll take a hit to my health. I don't care. All right, so pop this orb. What's the best way to pop this orb? Is going to be throwing her, and then that. Ah, shit. That's that's an addition to this equation that we did not want. Um. I'm going to shoot this, and that thing's going to... Uh, 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 jelly's going to be coming right for us when this pops. So I'm going to do this and move way over here. And then go like this. Okay. Volcana, same same deal. Just fucking take cover. Um, Got a bomb. Got a bomb to get these crates. If we run out of bombs, we run out of bombs. What do you want me to do? Thanks for the ropes. Let's go back up top of the level, top right, see if there's anything going on. There's nothing I'll always go down in Volcana, as I say, as I always say. Don't mess around with these guys. Especially uh, when you have a jetpack on. Don't mess around with these lava guys. Just okay. This sucks. It is a. It is. It's not a very wide level, so we should be able to get to that orb from the other side. numerous okay that's why you don't go up in volcano that bucket was gonna drop on us uh, there were numerous times when I got to the cosmic ocean and I was like this is great and then uh, those lava bugs would explode my jetpack because I was a clown all right there's two let's see if we can oh boy Let's see if we can. What's our egg? What's our? I probably shouldn't. Probably should try to not use as many breadcrumbs here. These breadcrumbs. That was not necessary. Ice caves. Seat cover. like everything is settled down that's 
one. That's two. There's three in an awful place that we're going to have to bomb. And any... Is there a Yeti hanging out behind the exit? No. You can't whip Yetis. You see what I... Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess you can. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, we don't have to bomb. Alright, sir. This still this feels like a dead run because I don't have climbing gloves. And I feel naked without Well, I should just change <laughs> change your senses around. I feel naked without climbing gloves. And this doesn't feel like a serious run because we don't have 99 bombs and ropes. But we'll get it done. Cause there's gonna be climbing gloves in this crate. There's going to be climbing gloves in this crate. That's like our third compass. Um, we got to be smart about it. When we're in the ice caves, there's bombs laying all around. Those landmines. So if we ever need a bomb, we can use those. Exit. Top left. We have our bodyguard finally. That's two. Spider is on my balls up there. And I see orb number three. Oh my goodness. I was just going to say, I bet that son of a bitch is going to be coming from the below me, and it, 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 he was. We got to get rid of that snake. Look out! <laughs> oh, that would have been hilarious. Oh, that would have been funny. It would have been off. It would not have been funny at all. All right. Here's our climbing gloves. I'll take bombs. That's that's fine. Ah, Jesus! That friggin' monkey. We're fine. All right, idiots, go do something else. Come. All right, this. That's why boomerangs are nice. Fellas, just go. Evolve into something. <laughs> like, all right. We got a boomerang. We have one orb. Not worried about that skeleton. Here's orbs two and three. You're stupid monkeys. Serves you right. We're gonna have to bomb into the level though, it looks like. Um Maybe. Okay, good. We don't have to. Let's take care of what we gotta take care of here first. Let's get rid of this mosquito. Or let's just let's just end it. All right, seek cover. I'm trying to find cover ASAP here from. <laughs> I wanted her. I wanted her for this mummy. This mummy that's hanging out up here. There she is. We'll get her. I just saw I just saw some poison though flying around. That mummy is between. Okay, okay. Nothing else matters. Let's just. 
There's our poison. We gotta get out of this level. Let's get this 30th, 5th cat in this level already. Get out of here, bat. All right. Poison coming from the left side of the, the level somewhere. There's our, there's our poison. We gotta take care of him. We have, how many croc men do we have running around now? Like 15? Let's get rid of these cats. That's, looks like that was two. Let's kill her. Everybody calm down. There's our exit. Ah, I woke up as cat. Did not want to do that, brother. Is this orb three? If this is orb three, then we just, we risk it all and run through the level here. We have two, we're at the two minute mark. We still have a minute. Let's see what's going on above this sand. Let's get rid of that crush trap immediately. All right, pretty, pretty barren wasteland here. There's a cat at the exit. We have to. We don't want to deal with that crush trap. We're, we have, we got, we have to bomb from here. We have time. But we gotta get this orb like that. Get me out of here, please. And then we're gonna crush this orb. And oh boy, that's nasty stuff. Let's go. We got the three minute timer coming. Look out! Nope. I had to, that cat can turn on you so that cur, that cat turns on you so fast it would it would curse us before we would get into the door. But that's the end of the run because that's we don't have a jet we don't have the jetpack anymore. I mean, there's really no point in continuing on. But hey, we pissed off the shopkeepers, got this far. That was just uh, looking back. I mean. Probably got to go down. See, you couldn't even go down and bomb that crush trap because that would have triggered the cat. I can't remember. But hey, $7.99. We did, we, hey, <laughs> $7.99 is not easy to do.